Autopilot is now recognizing divided highways much better. Um, used to, even though this is a divided highway, it used to limit my speed to five over the speed limit, which is no longer the case. And it now recognizes this as a divided highway and is keeping my speed appropriate to that. Also, lane changes. We're going to change lanes now. There used to be a little bit more of a hesitation. But it's doing it fairly quick and snappy now. I'm going to slow down just slightly and let a vehicle pass us. Watch the uh, sonar bounce off the vehicle that's going to be passing. See it pulsing slightly. And automatically bringing us to a stop. Now what surprises me is the vehicle in front of us is being displayed. However, those two are not. Now previously at this exact same intersection, uh, the screen would also show the two vehicles if there were two vehicles right to the side right there. Um, I'm noticing it's not displaying a lot, a lot of the vehicles that are around me whereas previously it used to. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it's not tracking those vehicles but I'm a little surprised that it's not displaying those. Light screen. See how it takes off. Now it's showing them. Change lanes again. Excellent job changing lanes, even with reduced visibility. Next, let's do a regen test. There's supposed to be improved regeneration. So, three. To uh, man, I'll go into manual for this. All right, and letting off, and you can see. Let's go back up again. You can see the regeneration bar drops quickly, uh, whereas previously on autopilot hardware cars, it used to be a little more lethargic. It drop halfway, maybe hesitate, and then go all the way and it does feel considerably stronger um, after driving a classic model as yesterday as a loner um, i can rate that the regen now feels just like the classic model s so that one full one time one pedal driving is now back seems to have been improved um, for the actual routing uh, and I will cover that next. Smile cheese!